communism versus you know capitalism it's, it's been used since the beginning of freaking Dude, time who this new youtube new youtube <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, the Super Tech Bros. We are doing a little bit of tech news today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Huawei ban. They got the ban hammer, dude. I know, they got totally banned. Hard. Game uh, of Thrones should've got him banned. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Season eight? Yeah, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so obviously we're a tech channel, so we felt that it was important that we cover this, and we actually review some Huawei products in here, and I am currently freaking using a Huawei phone. Wait, flip it, oh. remember. The trickery, the other way. The other way. Damn there it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm currently using the Nova 3 as a Huawei phone, so you know I have some personal stakes on this whole ordeal. Yeah, as you guys know, I mean, like, we're all about finding affordable devices that, like, offer the same performance as flagship devices out there or, like, flagship killers. And it's always good to find, like, these low prices and uh, very usable technology, like, out there. And it seems yeah, like... because, look, at the end of the day, the ones that are getting hurt by this is us, the consumers. It does, yeah. Less, op less options... You know, the other manufacturers like Samsung or whatever now, they're like, oh, to work that hard now. They don't have competition. Yeah. I mean, um, so, so... Less innovation, less options, probably higher prices for us. You know, we're just getting butt end, ramped. In the end, it's all about money, <laughs> but... It's all about that money, bro. It kind of sucks. I mean, um, so a little bit on the Thanks, point Trump. of Huawei. Yeah, it's they've been under fire for a long time now. Um primarily because of the same thing um ever since like 2018 they've had different issues with the fbi with the pentagon with the, the u.s military like banning stuff to the u.s military um stuff with facebook and special access to users um just in general this yeah, it's just been chronologically under fire like by multiple companies by the so, way courtesy so that, of CN, so, cnet so the main thing is that uh the trump administration is claiming that huawei and it's not just limited to huawei it's huawei huawei just happens to be the, the most, most important biggest yeah. player when it comes to 5g networks but they're claiming that this chinese technologies are uh, a security risk when it comes to having their their you know um, network equipment in our 5G networks, 5G networks and the 5G uh, technology overall being kind of like the future of, of you know, right. data and, and, and everything. Um, the problem is for a while now, Huawei has been the leader in when it comes to worldwide uh, 5G implementation and networks. And, and, and the thing is like, there are other companies that do it. Sony Ericsson does 5G. Uh, I think Nokia does some 5G stuff too. But they're so far behind. And like when when countries are gonna implement a 5G network for their for their country, let's say Brazil or Colombia, or whoever, some company, some random company, they put out this bit this bits to all these technology giant companies, and over a long time which is why they have such a big lead in this department. Quietly, they've been doing it better and cheaper than everybody else. So for the, some of these countries, especially some of the smaller com uh, countries, it's like we're not just because the United States is saying this, we're not going to go with a competitor that's going to cost us way more. And Huawei has a track record that have been doing a better job than pretty much everybody else. Yeah, Currently, Germany they, is one from, of the people that, that uh, one of the countries that have already openly stated that they're not going to follow this administration of just banning these devices from it that they haven't yeah. ha found any conclusive evidence of, yeah. uh, of F espionage within the hardware or even software so yeah so so some of these countries uh did their own uh um you know reviews and investigations into the huawei devices and everything and all of them for a long time now have come out clean they have they've said so there's basically no hard proof of it uh, yeah, there's a possibility they could be doing it, but there's For no sure. proof out there. It's, imagine and it's, the yeah. funny part is that this, this other countries, Germany included, that did this uh, studies, didn't 
they not only not find anything on Huawei, Huawei products about espionage or anything like that, but they did find uh, backdoors on Cisco devices, which are uh, an American company. And this is a couple of years back. they found it back for like a couple, like three, four years. I don't remember the exact number now, but it's something that's been happening. So it, it leads you to, to think about like, so like what's going on here? Is this really a threat? as they're making it sound to be like the president went ahead and, and said like, Oh, this is a, like a security risk or and whatever, like made a big deal about it. Or is it just some ploy uh, for, to bring China into the trading table on their terms. Right. So let's, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the current state of affairs and like espionage and general sharing of information from contracts that you digitally sign when you open up an application or when you buy a product so i'm sure everybody's aware application of, yeah everybody's aware of all of the applications that you use and even in google play services you can open up the application and view exactly what permissions that application is requesting right. access to contacts access to manage your phone calls basically like any application can really like read your information and distribute it properly in the states here um even AT&T and the major cell phone carriers have been known to sell your information to third party providers for yeah, for Google whatever does it all the time yeah even Google Amazon does it. Google literally everybody Xbox, does it advertise either for advertisement dumpster or, fire with that exactly so this has been done regardless whether you buy a Huawei device or not it doesn't matter where your information is out there and some company has it. Some yeah. company has your phone. So yeah. So, so my big, my biggest gripe with the whole thing that it's a security risk is like, okay, so, so I get that you know some some of the of the five G um, stuff is not only hardware. Some of it is software. So <laughs> could there be something there? Could there be some backdoor in the there code? Could that be. They they could be whatever. Whatever the case may be, fine. You you should be careful about that. Uh, good on you but the that, fact that that some countries out. haven't found it is just but but okay so there could be problems with the 5g equipment fine don't don't use huawei for 5g equipment use sony ericsson or some other company some american company i don't know who does it in america it, it regardless do that but how does like how does qualcomm or 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 whatever or some american chip maker company selling chips to uh huawei how is that like some sort of security risk for the United States? Like, as it is right now for United States citizens to get a Huawei phone, you have to import it. They don't they they don't sell them here in the United States. Right. So I don't buy that cell phones are some sort of security risk for 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 USA citizens. That doesn't make any sense. I get the five G stuff, but. The cell phone stuff is stupid. I, same thing with the laptops. I mean, Huawei makes a lot of products. They make laptops. They make computers. Tablets, they make servers. Even cameras. They make tablets. A bunch of shit. So I get if you're banning the 5G equipment and software for national risk, security risk. But other stuff just, again, sounds like they're just pandering on, on like, using it as a, as, a, as a trading asset or, or, or something to you know, strong arm them into giving them a better trade deal. Yeah, so look, courtesy of uh, StackCounter.com, we have uh, pretty much a three-year, like, sale record of Huawei devices. Uh, by this year already, they're making up about 8%, like 8 or 9% of the, of the percentage of cell phone sales in the world. Sam being led by Samsung, you know, Apple a close second. <laughs> And then, you know, Huawei third and Xiaomi, another Chinese company and some Oppo company and stuff like that. Like if we compare, you know, Apple, Samsung, all that stuff, the sales uh, of Huawei and Xiaomi are pretty close, but everything else is very far apart. Like, yeah, so, so Huawei was poised to pretty much take the number one spot uh, for, for uh, worldwide sales and cell phones or mobile phones. But... um. And they were, them and Xiaomi were the only two companies that were actually trending up. In oh, terms sorry. of Huawei devices being banned, um, we can basically expect not only hundreds of thousands of, of customers that already have a Huawei device 
to basically like stop the one. use. Yeah, literally. Fuck. To stop the use of um, of Google Play services and and because Google, even Google, has gotten into this and basically told Huawei that they they revoked the licenses from Huawei to use on their so, devices yeah, so, and. So the companies to. I mean, again, there's some people that are directing their anger to, towards these companies, and it's really not their fault. They they have to comply with the freaking law. Uh, there's really not much they can do about it. Uh, if they don't do this, they're breaking the law. It yeah. was an executive order that the president passed. And, yeah. So Google has already come out and said, well, you know, we're... We revoked the Android license from from Huawei, and what that means is, um, you know, Huawei. Uh, sorry, uh, Google is is op- um Sorry, Android. Android is open source, obviously. Uh, however, the latest version of Android with all the um, with all the Google services in the background, like the Gmail and, and Assistant, and, and YouTube, the Assistant, all of that. That is not part of the open source project. Yeah. That's so, proprietary licensed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what that means is for Huawei phones going forward, the newer new ones, uh, they're going to have the open source uh, Android project version, which is going to be like w- at least one version behind of the current one. And you're not going to have you're not, not going to have the Google apps, the gaps. You're going to be missing Gmail. You're going to be missing the Apple, the App Store. It's a big deal. You're going to be missing YouTube. You're going to be missing a bunch of stuff. So um, that means that that's, for, that's big. Yeah. For current owners, um, it's it's very bad news because you're basically going to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to. Um, there is a way to get past it. Uh, XDA developers has uh, open G apps that they develop themselves. Yeah. And... But the problem, the problem is with Huawei phones is most of them, the bootloaders are not unlocked. So... So, so first, first is that uh, Google. So after the 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 ban pass, uh, a couple of days later, so a couple of days ago, they said that they were gonna give uh, give the 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 current Huawei customers and uh, users and devices a ninety a ninety day uh, uh, grace period. Right. So so we got ninety. Well, I don't know what eighty days now. Whatever it is, I don't know when the the timer started. So we. You know, the timer is on. It's click, tick tock, tick tock. Um, when those 90 days are over, whatever version your phone is on, that's the version that's going to be for a foreseeable future. I think that some of the, you know, the, the features. app store, the, some of the background apps, Google apps may not work anymore. Hopefully, what happens now is, you know, Huawei loosens up the restrictions on um, unlocking the phones and everything like that, and lives it, you know, gives the the community an opportunity to maybe you Develop know solve on their the own problems and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, just root the device and just dump like a Pixel experience ROM on there. So up to this point, as far as I know, that's not been an option on, on Huawei phones. Yeah, so not yet. Maybe. That would be um, a good. Uh, that would be a good alternative. Yeah, I mean, it's there's there's a lot of of fire going on towards Chinese companies in general. Um, we can basically trace that back, like as as you guys saw, uh, basically all the way back to like 2018. Um, it's been a while. There's there's been backlash to Chinese companies selling like cheaper, more affordable, like cell phone devices and stuff like that. You know, something that costs like a thousand dollars here in the States is easily sold in China for like, you know, five to six hundred dollars of the same quality or not, not well, same yeah, quality, it, but the same performance. Um, it's the problem. The problem is like, you know, it now now we're really seeing the the ramifications of, of, of something like this. Right. Now people are really understanding what this whole global economy is about. Um, a product, a phone that you buy that's from a China manufacturer is not really a Chinese phone. You know the chips and some of the trademarks and the they're developed and the, all over the and, place. And the intellectual technologies and, and properties come from the United States. Some come from Germany. Some stuff come from Japan. Like 
there's like many countries and many companies. It's like a whole collaboration yeah. uh, of the open market to get this amazing devices to our hands. Now, the problem is, okay, so, you know, China has been poised for a while now to become the next uh, Silicon Valley or whatever, to be the, the next tech giant. They're trying to take that mantle away from the United States. And this could be some sort of like roadblock or, or something that the United States is using to slow them down. But at the end of the day, the ones that are being harmed and, and is us, the, the, the consumers and, and the global economy as a whole, like this puts a really dangerous precedence into play where like, what does that mean for, for the going forward? It's like any time that a country is like, Oh, you know what? We want to take the upper hand. Uh, and we don't care about the consumers or what they want. We're just going to mess with the global market and, and F shit up. Yeah. So let's be honest. There's a lot of <laughs> politics and political bullshit involved in these decisions. It, yeah. I don't deny the fact that maybe, or most likely, yes, there's, there has been espionage. But as I said, it's been done before. Maybe. It's being done right now. Every yeah, little game that your children, <laughs> yeah, every little game that your children download, like all of those games, no. little games, they have like, you know, they can read your contact information, they can control your images on your device. And yeah, it's used for some certain features of the game, but like those companies yeah. sell your information. That's a that's a second source I mean, of income yeah. that they have, um, and the, this ban is not only affecting current users of the phones and the, and Huawei devices. It's also going to affect sellers, like a third party sellers that have bought those devices or their their sole occupation is to buy and sell, like trading. Um, it's going to affect them too because basically nobody's yeah. going to want to buy these devices because they're not going to function properly. So yeah. that well, basically, I'll be honest. If I find a P30 Pro for cheap, you're still gonna get it. Price, I may still buy it. <laughs> hey, to be honest, but look, it could still be used for like probably like emulation. You could probably it just do still has the it. best camera bar none on a phone. I was actually thinking about getting it and reviewing it for the channel, but you know, now that this happened, obviously that kind of put, you know, yeah, I was I was stuck between uh, the P30 and the and the Xiaomi uh, uh, Mi Nine or the, what, but what's look, it called. The, that's the thing, like, not only, like, whatever, if you don't like it, well, cool, uh, but it, it, there's no denying that they have brought a lot of innovation and new things to, to the market. Look, you've seen the commercials for the latest Samsung phones that they have the reverse uh, key charging or whatever. Huawei was the first one to implement that. Like with two the, years uh, ago. With, yeah, with the Mate 20 Pro. Uh, and then this one, the P30, uh, the P30 Pro with the 10X hybrid zoom lossless zoom thing like the camera is ridiculous they have leica fucking lenses on it yeah the leica I mean, lens is amazing so yeah so yeah at, at the end of the day it is us the the consumers that are gonna get butt raped sadly because of the trumpy administration wanting to and it's it's not even look know. it's not even only trump it's like all of these countries that are joining in and and feeding into it because they're their tech manufacturers that are grown in-house are basically seeing this competition arise from a overseas company. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of competition, corporate yeah, competition so... between everything, and literally like it's it's being used for trying to just close down Huawei as far uh, yeah. or or have them sell their intellectual look, property or take they over. They already did this with uh last year with CTE and and they haven't been the same since. Now Huawei Huawei is like a giant company and even though they say that they don't they do have the backing of the the Chinese government. Um yeah, that's um, probably true. The but you know, they don't only make phones and you know, they still they own right now they own like 30% of the global market of the 5G networks. They're going to still make a lot of money. They're going to be fine going forward. This is going to be like something that's going to slow them down. And like I said, we're the ones that are going to be paying the price. Yeah, there's been some talks. Uh, Huawei has been um, discussing basically trying to stay in the competition by just sticking to their laptop devices. Um, like laptop well, I and mean, tablet devices. They're going to have to sell them with Linux. With, they can no, they're them. not going to be able to put Windows on it. 
That's the other thing. They've also one of the. I mean, they're gonna have to sell them o without OS, and then people are gonna have to install their own OS on it or something. I don't know. They're but they're not gonna be able to. They're not gonna be able to work with Microsoft to to get Windows on them. Yeah, that, but that's where and, that's where it's getting to. You like know, the, Nvidia, they're not gonna be able to get graphic cards on it. I mean, or AMD companies. The CEO, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna what they're gonna do. Yeah, the the CEO of Huawei came out um, recently, um, saying basically saying, "Oh yeah." Uh, the, um, America has underestimated the power of, of Huawei as a company. And he came out openly and said, we've already been talking for years since we've been under scrutiny about developing our own software uh, in-house, like a yeah, operating but system. And you, you remember when, when Android first came out? Yeah, there was the, that Android version. You remember that how was, bad it was? Yeah. You, you, you understand how long it took to get where it is at now? How many years? I mean... It's, for, been... it's an incredibly hard undertaking for them to just release a new OS. Well, I mean, it'd be good. They say they've been working on it in, in the shadows for a while now. They have. Samsung has, has supposedly done the same thing. Supposedly they're cooking something up too. But the reason why they haven't released it yet is because it is incredibly difficult. And not just that, like if you're a consumer and you're used to Android and then you're like, what? Yeah, all of this? a sudden you like, switch your UI. You're like, it doesn't yeah. feel the same. It doesn't. Yeah, it's it's incredibly hard overtaking that we're asking them to do. It's I don't know if that's gonna. But be it's impossible. interesting They'll that try, they. But... Yeah, but it's interesting that they uh, uh, confidently said, like, you know, like we're gonna be developing this, and this is gonna be like our future, and it it yeah. doesn't even have to do with the ban itself. Like this is just a, this is just something that they gotta add to their plate. Um, but it's it's supposedly been in the talks for a while now uh, yeah. between Huawei like developing yeah, their own they, operating system. Supposedly, and supposedly stuff. they knew that this not supposedly they knew this was coming. Again, this has been been kind of happening. It already happened to CT and it's been kind of happening for a year now. Uh, they supposedly like uh, uh, you know just bought a bunch of the the parts that they're gonna need like three months worth of uh, of chips and stuff that they're going to need they, they they have in reserves just so they can sustain the sales for a while but the problem is like going forward they're not going to be able to make new because even though they make their own silicon the, the with their parent of their sister company or something high silicon the the technologies in it is are based on arm so they're using arm patents to build their silicon, to be, build their, their CPUs and whatever. So they're not going to be able to make any new phones, just existing hardware, existing technology. You're not going to be able to develop anything new. Um, well, I mean, he's been, they've been pretty cocky about the whole thing, but who knows? Maybe it's, it's been like a front so that they, I mean, so that their shareholders so are, basically, are kept like, uh, kind of calm. I guess, but I mean, basically, what they—if let's say this doesn't get resolved, going forward, what they will need to do is not only create a new OS for their hardware to run on. They basically have to create their new, own chips. Yeah, just new structure from the ground up because it's, it can't be based on ARM technology. It cannot be based on that, like, and that architecture. It has to be like. It's, yeah, maybe maybe PC x86 or something like who knows? Maybe they'll develop something. I mean, look, they're innovating with the 5G as it is. Like their their speeds of 5G, like normally 5G was reported to be like what between like 300 and uh, yeah, gigahertz. I know, and I know that something that like they, that. They're the biggest company. Like it, they're almost is in a second place when it comes to 5G. It's like it's them, and then it's like a giant drop to the next. Exactly. Company it does and and they hold most of the patents for for 5G technology. Exactly, so. which is which is basically w what I personally think that they're trying to get to. At least in the states, they're trying to get to those patents somehow. They're trying to put them into a corner and like trying to just close them down as much as possible, and then just eventually take over that or or, or come to an agreement yeah, that yeah. you know you got to share those patents with us or else you know. The yeah. company is, in my opinion, it's. I'm not only my opinion, but I'm hoping too, obviously, that it is gonna get resolved in the coming months before this ninety day fucking dead sentence goes into place. Probably uh, it always does. I, I They're think, gonna come up I with some. It's just way too much money. 
like because it's not only obviously Huawei is the main company that's gonna get butt hurt from this, but if you think about it, Google's gonna lose money, uh, Intel's gonna lose a shit ton of money, Qualcomm is gonna lose a shit ton of money. Like this, even independent sellers from Amazon, like uh, stuff like Wha- uh, a Huawei bunch of is like, yeah, Huawei at the at the time this happened was the second largest manufacturer of cell phones and other electronics and they were trending up they were basically the only one of the of the of the makers of phones that were actually trending up um and they were spending like you know 11 billions i think a year on on just technologies and 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 intellectual whatever technology and stuff that were importing from from the US so that's money that they're not going to get and and we saw uh the impact that it that it had already in the in the stock market like Qualcomm's yeah. uh, stocks plummeted not plummeted but they went down significantly enough that you know people noticed and were upset so yeah as you mentioned the the stocks did fall after the Huawei ban like uh yeah. pretty much hit the tech shares um basically by the way it might be a good time to buy some Qualcomm stock I think, that is I true think. I, mean, I think they are overreacting. I think this is going to get fixed and those stocks yeah. are going to jump back up. But yeah, it definitely did hit the markets hard. Very hard. All yeah. technology stocks. Everything fell by at least 2%. Yeah. So um the I think the other thing that we need to talk about is like so so the United States made their made their move and they brought the ban hammer on Huawei. So what is what is Huawei's and and by proxy China's next move? Like Even, I think that's something that people are maybe not thinking about um so you you got to understand like united states went after huawei which is the biggest tech company in china what if china now goes after let's say apple which is the biggest tech company in the united states yeah they manufacture Everything their chips in house like over there Every, literally pretty much 90% of the garbage that goes into an iphone is made in china and it's not Obviously. only that, it's basically almost everything that we consumers yeah. here in the United States get what is made in made China. China. What isn't? So, and not just that, like uh, rare uh, earth, uh, earth metals and, and, and just stuff that they need to make some of the silicon, they get it from China. And even um, hard drives. In Africa too. But yeah, so if China wants to, you know, not comply and play hardball back at the United States and push back, it could get really ugly. It would. Look, we have even... Uh, um, there's been some reports pretty much that um, that China has been openly coming out and saying, like, you know, like, if you guys are going to treat us this way, uh, we're going to, you know, use extreme measures kind of thing. So... Uh, they, we don't even know what that means. Like, why can't, they, what, why can't everybody we were, just play nice, dude? We, what I, were we talking about before, dude? The uh, like uh, World War Three. Like, if it happens just because of a cell phone, just like because of that goddamn like, cell phone. Uh, it's just like you know, this is getting out of hand. Like, it's it's ridiculous. How? Yeah, way. Look, you have options, and as a consumer, you also have you know your own brain to think about what you're signing, what you're digitally signing. If you see a Huawei app that says, yes, we may use your your information for advertising purposes, uh, for your contact information to sell for to third party co- the clients or whatever that are asking for it for uh, either advertisement or uh, survey data or something like that. You're you're signing that you yep. you have to read. It doesn't matter if it's a Chinese company. It doesn't matter if it's an American company. They all do the same thing. You have to stay on top of it, and you as the person has the control over that. So it yeah. it doesn't matter what you buy, whether it's a Huawei phone, whether it's a freaking Apple phone. It's all gonna be the same thing. So this this whole thing with the Huawei ban is literally just corporate bullying. It's been labeled like that for a while now. Um, and it's just, it's ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah. And what, what us, the consumers, I mean, obviously we're talking from the perspective of, of you know, yeah. us, like people that currently have a fucking Huawei phone <laughs> or are thinking of getting one or are in the market to get a new phone. Uh, yeah, it's bullshit, man. Like it's not just Huawei. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of other manufacturers that are based out of China. There's Oppo, 
which they own uh, OnePlus. I know a lot of people out there love their OnePlus devices. Uh, there's Vivo. I don't know who Vivo make, what makes, but they make some good stuff, I guess, maybe. Lenovo. Lenovo is out of China. They make phones. They make laptops. They make servers. They make a lot of shit. Xiaomi. Xiaomi is kind of one of another of the big manufacturer of technology yeah, in they're... China. For some years, they were actually tied with with Huawei in sales, and they've been yeah. slowly increasing with them. They've been going with them. I mean, the the so, the Mi Nine and the Mi Pro and all that. Yeah, stuff. they make some really good devices. They they're kind of labeled like the Apple of China or something. They have that same style. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the point is that uh, uh, you know, if this gets any worse, it could not only be Huawei. It could be more manufacturing and there'll be less and less and less options for us yeah i mean think about it in your sense what, what did you just finish saying like a little bit ago that you know i was thinking of getting was the i talking p30 no you were you were saying that you were thinking of getting the p30 oh yeah and and then now you're not so like how That's many people nice. around the world are basically thinking the same thing like you know they were thinking about getting oh the yeah phone and then it's it's yeah, basically think, like yeah like a you Unless you know something, like it'd be hard. I'd be hard pressed to like buy a brand new thousand dollar phone that is a, sign, uh, a Huawei phone. I mean, it's too much uncertainty. Like, I believe that's gonna get fixed. It's gonna get resolved, but nobody knows for sure. For sure. I mean, we can see some I mean, quick I, results if I, if, of if prices. I find a, if I find a phone for really cheap, somebody gets desperate. Oh, I don't Look at that. Want the, the P30. I don't care. Look, the P30 Lite, I don't know if it's dropped in price. Nah, no, no it's the same price. Yeah, the P30 Lite is yeah. still the same price. Things haven't I dropped in price, so obviously there's something. Second-hand market, you can find them for like $700, but, you know, which is still a, like a $300 reduction. Oh, look, a, the, the regular P30 is uh, from B&H Photo Video Audio is uh, 539 Yeah, that's also a pretty good phone. Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't seem like but, yeah. things have dropped in price yet, so who knows, you know, as we discuss. I think people are kind of thinking the same way that we are, like, this will, it's, you know, it'll probably get resolved at some point. But, you know, more, the, the clock is ticking, the closer we get to that 90-day deadline, you know, and people are going to start getting nervous and, like, itchy and be like, fuck, I got to move this phone. Yeah, it, it can go, look, it can go one of two ways. Like, the first way is the you know america and Ch and huawei come out with a plan like you know that's either whatever it is that they're after like uh america at least or, or the trump administration or the, or the big tech companies like I just share your patents for 5g or something like that you know whatever it is that they're after they can come to happen. an agreement i just hope that i, I just hope that china doesn't retaliate and they just whatever <laughs> freaking Mobiles try to nuke us they come up, well, no, but they come up with some sort of like, they'll come up to some sort of agreement, but they, they're not going to just give away their patents. That will be crazy. That will be like, I mean, like freaking Qualcomm giving away their patents. That's like almost all of their fucking company. That's mo they don't sell chips anymore. All they do is it's fucking get uh, money from their fucking patents. That's it. They're like a patent troll. Qualcomm. <laughs> a, a patent farm. So it's like for them to, for United States to come and like, oh yeah, just let us use your patents for free. That'd be ridiculous. They will never do it. Well, it, it it might not be just the 5G patents kind of thing. It might be the technology behind it or the resources. I don't know. It. I don't know what they're after, but like, you know, that's one of the two ways that I can see this going is Better like them coming to an agreement. After. Yeah, like doing, yeah, some kind of trade deal, some kind of like deal in general. That it just gets resolved. The other way is that neither side backs down, and then Huawei just falls into the 90-day period, and then it just it just goes on to do its own thing. And who knows? And maybe then they release some garbage OS. And yeah, exactly. Like, and who knows? Maybe the maybe they'll garbage. never be the same, or maybe they'll be better than before. Who knows at that point? But it can go either I'll one of those two ways. I have to get a fucking Samsung dude, phone. Dude, you'll need my to, life. <laughs> you'll need to freaking buy. <laughs> just hate that shit. Just get an iPhone, dude. Hell no. <laughs> I'd rather get a fucking clamp flip phone first or some you, bullshit like that. I mean, at that point, if, if at that point, I if fucking literally... can on a string. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I will. I will go back to the nineties. I won't even use a phone. You'll use you'll use one of the old anymore. brick Nokia's. You'll bring it out of like the closet. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck that, man. Never. 
I mean, at that point, even if 90% of the phone is not functional, I would rather have a Huawei phone than an iPhone. Uh, it'll probably still make calls and receive calls. It'll still do that. <laughs> Ex- yeah. For sure. Just it'll have a garbage fucking apps and shit. Yeah, so I guess... um, The camera will still be amazing. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, it can still be used. You can put it on a gimbal or something, and it'll still be freaking awesome. Uh yeah, so I mean that's pretty much everything. Uh, we have yeah. we have some reports too of Trump like explaining what the ban is about. Um, yeah, I kind of went over that. It's just bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's like I was saying. It makes no sense. I get the five G stuff, but it doesn't make sense to like block everything like phones and shit. There's like absolutely zero security risk out of that. Yeah, as we discussed, like this thing is already happening. Like we. The AT and T, yeah, but the, I don't think that that's what this com- is about, though. It isn't like it, this is. That's just a front for the masses to like say, "Oh man, yeah, communist, communist China is taking our information." It's it's been a ploy used since the freaking beginning of this country. So yeah, I I mean I think that's gonna wrap it up for us. Um, if we hear any new, uh, you know, anything new happening and on this front, we hear anything new, I guess we'll we'll let you guys know we'll do a quick video maybe a live stream and keep you guys updated um again i'm hoping this gets resolved soon or else you're gonna have to get a new phone and leave that paper away behind yeah man Not looking all right guys that. so i mean if you like it like like and subscribe drop a comment below let us know what's up if there's any other news about huawei that we might have skipped that is might be important to this like what are your thoughts on the whole ban and uh you know the decision yeah, made you guys by both parties pro ban or against ban yeah bannerman or anti bannerman so that's right. pretty much it see you guys later